this is a funny thing. People are complaining about the cost of um, insulin already. I think this is a totally fake thing, but let's we'll see what this lady says here. Uh, yes, ma'am. This guy. I'm calling from uh, West Virginia, and which was a red state for Donald Trump. And they have a place called down here Public Debt. And a lot of my neighbors would vote for Trump. They walking around scared, crying, nervous. And they were forever Trumpers. But on a personal note, I'm a diabetic and I'm on Medicare. And when Joe Biden was in there, my insulin was $6 uh, for a 28-day supply. I just went to CVS to get my new supply. It went back up to $80, they said, because the American Recovery Act was canceled. So it went from $6 to $80. So I don't know if anybody else out there on Medicare. And if- All right, yes, so... Ma'am. I'm you got that. To, uh, West Virginia, and, and then is, uh, look at this now. For Donald Trump, and they have a place. I want to have tariffs separately from that on steel, on autos, on uh, semiconductors, and and uh, chips, and uh, probably pharmaceuticals. And you're not worried that any of that's going to go back to the consumer? It might, but it's ultimately going to be much less expensive. I'll give you an example: the so-called fat drug or fat uh, <laughs> shot, whatever it's called, Ozempic or Manjuro. In London, you get it for $88. In New York, you get it for $1,200. You can't even buy it. It's very unfair. The identical package made in the same factory, shipped to different places, but made literally in the same factory. In London, it's $88. And in New York, it's $1,200. And you can't get it. And the reason is because everything's added on to the United States because the United States has been too nice. You know- so there's that, but the he thing knows. I'm dis- yeah, the, but the thing I'm disappointed with him and RFK for is nobody's talking about the the pharma patents. We've talked about the pharma patents before, right? We have. So why do they even not dare to speak about that? Do they not know about it, or are they afraid to speak about it? I I think the right person because you know how trump works brandon he uh he listens to everyone and he starts solving i don't think the right person has approached him because i think he will he would understand immediately what's going on so you don't think he knows about this i don't think he knows enough about it wow all right so here i'm gonna pull up on my document quick because um I have a crazy amount of charts with this thing. So if you guys don't know, the pharmaceutical industry is unlike any other industry in the world where they have a legalized monopoly for at least 20 years, but sometimes up to 80 years, where if they create a product, they get to patent it, and then nobody else gets to create it. So giving them market exclusivity where they could you know, make the price anything they want. Like I used to work at a pharmaceutical company. I did global security for them. And... It was mind blowing. They they had this one drug. This is a multi billion dollar company. They had one drug that was a hundred thousand dollars per serving, and, you know, and it was like a rare disease drug that if the person didn't get it, they they would die. It was a hundred thousand dollars per serving. Like this is the thing where you have to take it multiple times per year, and their sole focus, like every bit of energy in the company, was either towards lobbying or creating a new slight variant of the drug that they. Um, uh, had market exclusivity for so they could extend their patent. Because if you make a drug that's like 99% similar to the drug you already have a patent on, you could classify it as a new drug and then extend your market exclusivity. So imagine that billions of dollars all going towards just lobbying and making sure you maintain a monopoly in the market for a life saving drug. Like, I don't know about you, but that's one of the like most evil dynamics that I, I've ever come across. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to hot branding. You ready? Hit me. I think anything that will save a life and uh, you know make human life better uh, after a certain period of time, it should be open source. Yeah. Like, like we like because we they can't have say, this. No. It's disgusting. Like I understand, I understand. It takes years of training, a career, creativity. Uh, I understand, you know, but yeah. uh, 
at the same time, they're using that as a shield to like charge. Oof. And they, they don't let any new players come into the market. That's the other thing. If we had a free and fair open market when it came to these things, um, I think we would be seeing a whole different tune, Brandon. But but it's so overly regulated, everything, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's pure evil. Um, here, I'm, I'm pulling up this thing right now because it's, I didn't. I didn't plan on talking about this today, but I I made a whole like crazy presentation on this. I'm putting it on the doc. Oh, right you're now. lying, Ben. You love you love talking about this. No, I know. I didn't say I don't love talking about. it. I just said I wasn't um, planning on talking about it. But now I am. So buckle up. Like this is probably. I am buckled up. <laughs> oh man, is this the right one? No, is it? Stay. Um. So just to like show you the extent of this thing. All right. How do I? Let's see if it'll let me share a Microsoft window. All right. I have to log in quick. Talk about something quick while I log into this. <laughs> Talk about something quick. Uh... Yeah. While I log into this. All right. See how good you are. Under, uh, what does I see? Oh, very unfortunate, and my my heart goes out to her. Uh, Biggie Smalls, uh, his mother died today. Uh, he was very close to his mother. Um, mm. What else? Uh, talking about healthcare, the trial for uh, Luigi Mangione started. I think the hearings they started today. Um. What what over on there? What do you think we're gonna are we gonna get any revelations about this topic? I mean, under the, under the previous administration, the odds were zero, but today the odds are maybe like ten percent. I'm still waiting to get answers on things that we were promised. Oh, we're in there. We are in there. We are in there. Let's go. All right. Here is the goods. All right, so. This is a presentation I put together about the craziness of this. So let's go through the crazy stuff. All right. So it is estimated that a, can you see what I'm looking at right now? Yeah. You have a text screen? document. Yes. Okay. So pharma patent abuse, pharma school patent abuse, the practice right. of drug companies using, that um, that's why I'm reading. <laughs> Practice of drug companies using their patents for, to prevent production of generic drugs, thus keeping prices high, limiting access to the affordable medication. In return for their innovation, current law provides brand pharmaceutical companies with 12 years of guaranteed market exclusivity for biologics and 20 years for each patent. During the period of patent market and market exclusivity, brand drugs are priced and sold free from competition. Once competition enters the market, the price of medicine reduces drastically in patents Benefit with increased access to more affordable care, FDA-approved drugs. Experience shows prescription drug costs decline by more than 60% after 12 months of generic drugs entering the market. It's estimated that, that the generic entry typically leads to, on average, an 80, um, an 80%, yeah, it's not 80%, an 80 market share loss and 20 to 30% reduction of drug price with further drug decreases, which additional generic entry in some instances leads to a fall in 90% of the price. All right, so just to show you some examples of this, oh, where the hell is this? You know thing? what you call that, Brandon? You know what? what you call that? What do you call that? Capitalism. Yeah, that's capitalism. That's that, that, that's capitalism. That's how the market freaking works. And when mm -hmm. they start meddling with the market, this this crazy things happen. If you let the market run its course, we're good. You know, if you start meddling and overregulating, this is what you get. Yeah. No, this is, there's nothing capitalistic about this. Or, or are you saying this no, is capitalistic? It's the opposite, no, this is yeah. the complete opposite. They don't let, they don't let any new players come in. Yeah, like you're like ever, for all the complaining we do about monopolies, you're not going to call this a freaking monopoly. And this is the shit that it like, is Elizabeth Warren is standing up for. So these are some examples of what happens to the price of drugs or what happens to the revenue of these companies when they lose their patents. So. AstraZeneca from um, the product Nexium, the patent expires in 2014, and then boom, look at that. It gets cut in half. Yep. Then um, there was a Seroquel. Patent expires in 2011, 
boom, look at that. More than cut in half. And look how irrelevant it becomes by 2021. Like that is what happens when other competitors are allowed to compete with you. Same thing with you know what you're seeing right now, Brandon. It's, what that's the beauty of the market. That's the beauty of the market. It's the most efficient thing. Yeah, but imagine that there's thousands of companies out there that could create these same things that you know can save lives. That could be ninety to ninety nine percent cheaper, but they're being blocked right now by law. That's freaking insane. And then they're trying to it's like put it on a politician. It's not on, well. It's not on the the president. It's on Congress. But Trump could make an executive law about this, or or tell like put pressure on Congress. Like he has the political capital right now to primary anybody out of Congress if he puts enough pressure on them. So look at this: yeah. the world's top selling brand drug, Humira, treats arthritis and other chronic conditions. It's been on the market since two thousand two, with one hundred and thirty two patents blocking competition for up to thirty nine years. One of the most prescribed cancer treatment drugs, Remlovid was approved by the FDA in 2005. The patent thicket consists of 96 patents providing potentially up to 40 years without competition. Diabetes uh, patients who rely on insulin treatment, there you go, Lantus, may not see generic alternative for 37 years due to 49 patents issued. What was that first video about we played? Diabetes, um, insulin. So I don't want to hear a single complaint about the insulin prices and talking about a specific president until people talk about the, like, there's no other real problem except for this. Like the fact that you have one company making this thing when thousands of companies can make it, it, could, it should pro like, it should probably cost two cents for an insulin treatment. If you enjoyed the short clip, click right here to watch the full episode and remember to subscribe to the channel. God bless.